Ah, yo semudah itu lah. Yo nampak tak screen ni? Eh uh, nampak. Nampak. Eh? Nampak. Semua semua dah ada dah. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, dah. Yo semua dah dia lah. Semua dah ada. Okey ya. Assalamualaikum ayah ni lah. Jadi selecture today is a uh, respiratory examination. Okey, is is uh, one of the most important part of examination as any vital organ eh. And then very important to be fluent in the examination of respiratory system. Eh? It started with new need, use of GAF score, ballot maturation, maturational assessment that is already for, for new need. Eh? And you know, you all know when you see your patient in the clinic, in the ward, respiratory is, respiratory pathology is one of the commonest cases, uh, uh, cause of cases that emitted to the ward. Eh, bronchitis, bronchopneumonia, and so on. Eh. So even 80%, 70% respiratory case. Eh. So you need to be fluent with examination of respiratory system. Eh. What the function of respiratory system? Eh? Involve gas exchange, defense function, metabolic function, deposited function, filtration function, and kind of function. But most important is for us this respiratory bear the breathing and gas exchange and defense function eh? these two most important eh? you know these two is already enough eh? respiratory system involved started from oral cavity hmm, until the nasal pharynx eh? uh, larynx epiglottis hmm, and the trachea then the bronchial bronchial tree and then the arula eh? and also the intercostal muscles or respiratory muscle the costal muscle and the diaphragm eh? is what the respiratory system eh? but as a nation respiratory system is started from the fingers from your fingers eh? and go up down go to into the respiratory to the chest per se eh? so it consists of upper and lower the upper is nose, tripharing, adenos, tonsils, epiglottis, larynx, and upper part of trachea. Eh? Your sign of upper and lower is the thoracic inlet. Eh? The thoracic inlet. So one third of trachea is still in the upper respiratory tract. Consider upper respiratory tract because it's still uh, outside of the chest. Eh? Those inside the chest are considered as a lower respiratory tract. Eh? They involve the lower part of trachea, two thirds, the bronchi, bronchioles, alveolar ducts, and alveoli. Eh? So there is the lower respiratory tract. Eh? So the upper and lower. It is there where it's here. What's eh? eh? the trachea inlet? Different shape between the upper and the lower. Eh? The surface marking difficult to know in children so much because of the age are difference. Eh? 
basically in in you know, in in generally in adult easier to make the marking because of the their body you know, body their body proportion is already fixed eh and like children eh children even the even though the head and the and the body the proportion can be different eh so basically the trachea if in first you to know you have to know the lung marking the lung eh, posterior is six eh? and then second you, you have to learn the uh, plural marking eh so this is the lung this is lung lower margin of the lung and the plural eh? and the oblique fissure eh? so the rule is for for anterior is uh, uh actually this doesn't show here so much eh? but this six eight ten eh? six eight ten and the plural marking will be two lower eh? but basically what you have to know is that the upper loop mid loop lower loop for the right lung upper loop and lower loop at the left lung eh? this is the anterior and posterior eh? at the you see the anterior eh? and then the the posterior will be the upper loop lower loop and upper loop and then the mainly the sorry this is uh, yeah uh, okay uh, at, at the posterior also mainly upper loop and lower loop eh? at the left lung and the, the the right lung and the left lung also same upper loop and lower loop just little bit only is a middle loop okay the reason you need to know the lung markings that when you examine you know what you examine eh? roughly you must know what you examine but as I said to you in children it's not as easy as you thought because of the proportion size of body of children changes according to their Ish, eh? remember that even the, the even the children size also very different between individual. Five years old children can be a small size into the big size. So so you have to know how to roughly to know what you examine. So in children they not fix lung marking per se for at any age. Eh? But the important for you is to roughly know what you are touching. Yeah, but you examine when you you did your examination, yeah. and then the key in the examination in children because you know children is not at certain age they are not that cooperative. Yeah. You want you yes you need to know the techniques and also the sequence very well. But at the end of the day, in many children examination, you have to know you have to use your observation power. So very important for you to be able to observe what the surrounding of the patient, eh? what is there when you, before you start the examination, look for any nebulizer, drug, medication around, special food, mobility, assisted device, hospital equipment, oxygen, fluid center line, child is awake, not alert, are they running around, the general ill or not, who, are, who with them, and we listen probably the cough, the wheeze, the stridor, and the, the breathing. All this helps you. Yeah? All this helps you to give you an idea, eh? To give you an idea that we, when you examine your patients, is your patient is what is your patient all about? Because then you can focus what is the importance in the examination. But basically, in clinical examination, you still have to go for history taking, inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. Okay, the, the key I will talk to you today is clinical examination to include the inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. Eh? But before examination, roughly, eh, always ensure your hand wash properly, introduce yourself to the parents and family, make a, make a good rapport, because you see, the children, they sense how your, you with your patient, with your parents, with the parents, eh? they sense if usually if you and your the parents have nice rapport, the children are more relaxed when you when you try to touch them. Eh? So very important. To, and then you need mother to help to do a few things eh? that you avoid to do because it less, give less tension to the children, eh? to the child. Basically, examination, you need eh, laying down, 
If it's cool, you can do laying down or sitting or on the parents' lap. And listen, they like to do as I mean as like an adult. Eh? So wash your hand properly. Eh? Clean, make sure your hand is clean. Don't eh? so that you don't give any any bugs to your to the your patient. And look for general appearance, eh? exposed area in needle, and try eh? ask the parent help you to do the undress the child because. It less it make the child less tension. Eh? If somebody who used to address them rather than you address them, eh? and then is dressed, and then uh, and if the child is older, the adolescent, you can ask them to undress themselves. Eh? Uh, the 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 exposure must be appropriate eh, for the examination. So you are doctors, you must expose the patient properly, eh? as, as usual, eh? as I mean for the right side, you look at posture, body positions, body shape, skin colors, any unusual behavior, try to look also the parent and child interactions, fat or skinny, rashes, scars, ask if there is any tenderness anywhere before you start touching them. Eh? And then, as I mentioned, okay, in children, in, in Malaysia, eh? Uh, nobody likes to be touched at the hip first, eh? so touch on the hand first. This is the usual customary way of when we uh, we, we meet people. So it's, 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 it's advisable to examine the upper limb first, eh? and then it makes them more relaxed and ready to eh, accept you easier. Hmm? Look for pelo, uh, clubbings, paper sinusis, tremor. Uh, in adult, a uh, bigger children, you can look for flapping tremor. Do any risk tenderness, eh? and then uh, uh, after you look the any, then you can look for other. Uh, after that, you look for the face, eh? for the face, pelo, center sinusis. Then, then you go down to the neck. Eh? The neck you look for the jugula. If there any, if the child is corporate for you, you can sit at forty five degrees and look for the at the observe the, any swelling of the lymph nodes. Eh? The lymph nodes. Eh? It's how the techniques. Eh? Look for the clubbing. See this a uh, clubbing here. Eh? And then you go the. As usual, from the lower upper lower limbs, you go to the facial face expression, face including uh, the, the upper the, the the head, including the face, nose, throat, the neck, eh? and hand expression come first, eh? and then go to thorax expression, nose, look at patency, septum, nasal flaring. This one you can observe, eh? and then nasal polyps discharge. Any mucus look if the mucus and the, the, the mucus membrane sinus tenderness. Eh? Throat. Eh? Try to smell the odor of the the odor of the breath. Eh? The color, fissure, dryness of the lip, tongue, teeth, gum, throat. Eh? The size of the tonsils. Eh? Look. Eh? And then if especially if patient complain of. Oh, Sore throat, eh? to see is what the cause of it is tonsillitis or not, eh? and then it's very difficult to look at the below that, eh? Be, uh, until the tonsil. Eh? If you need to do below that, then probably you need ENT to, uh, to help you. Then after you examine the face, eh? then after that you examine the neck. The neck you look for the uh, uh, the neck. You look for the circle if not enlargement, then you go to the chest. The chest first of thing is always observe the chest. Eh? Chest look at the uh, respiratory rate, rhythms, depth, and quality. Eh? And then listen to the sound eh? again. Eh? Look the nausea breathing, the grunting, and the snoring, eh? the wheezing, or any stray door. Eh? And then when you look at the chest movement, eh, roughly in chest movement, in normal chest movement, the aspiration is longer than inspiration. This is because inspiration is an active 
active activity where your muscle need to constrict, whereas the expression is a passive activity where your muscle relax and the gravity take over. So basically, the inspiration is longer than the expiration. Eh? If you observe, eh? and then this is the rate. Eh? Try to remember the rate different according to the age because different age have different respiratory rate because if tachypnea uh, is different rate of tachypnea difference according to the age. Eh? Please remember that. Eh? Look for abnormal breathing pattern. Uh, the tachypnea, the bradypnea, the dipsnea, uh, especially the, the two tachypnea and uh, bradypnea and apnea. Uh, this nea is a bit difficult to look at. It's a sensation of breathlessness. Uh. So the increased respiratory rate, the decreased respiratory rate, or any cessation of breathing. Uh. And then this is some definition to give you some idea the depth, uh, the depth of the, 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 the uh, is a hype. Uh, the depth, hypopnea, hypoventilation, and hypoventilation give you the depth right, of respiration. But the most important is these two, three, tachypnea, dyspnea, and apnea. Right? And then using our accessory muscle, the importance, right? especially the intercostal muscle, you can see the from the observation, or you can look the subcostal or intercostal recession. Right? But sometimes you can look at the neck muscle, those very severe ones. Right? Using of the neck muscle tell you the 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 how how bad the dis respiratory distress is it, eh? and then the type of respiration. Okay, for less than six years old, you notice no in normal children the abdominal they, they tense can have abdominal pattern still eh? because the, you can see the abdomen is moving more eh? than the chest, especially even in in respiratory. Eh? So don't be surprised. But after six years old, more than six years old, they should have mainly the, the chest pattern. Eh? If still have abdominal pattern, probably something abnormal there. So the what the pathological respiration pattern? Eh? Seesaw. You see the seesaw. Seesaw immediately product sick. Yeah? May the chest wall fall on inspiration and then rise on in the expiration. It is a reverse. Eh? And usually seen in respiratory failure. Occur small breathing with the child is hyperventilate <laughs> and gasping at the same time. Seen in the severe acidosis, yeah? usually as acidosis. And child stop breathing where well, it's breathing is <laughs> then low, then <laughs> usually it's mean a brainstem injury, yeah? severe meningitis in severe intracranial bleed. Yeah? Remember that. Yeah? Okay, uh, you see it's bit. Why did I give you quite complicated things, not very simple one? Because I just want you to see the whole things. Yeah? Whole things. When you read the book, then the, you know that it has been mentioned to you. Yeah? I can give you a very simple lecture, but then you will complain to me that I, I didn't teach you all the, all the complicated names and things that you, you read in your book. Yeah? I give you this, but you check, you check, then when we practice, Usually after this, I, I as it means one children in front of you to show you it's very simple to be done. But then I cannot do that. So when you you as I mean the when you look after the entry chest, eh, and then okay, one thing about the children, eh, though in adult, we like them to do seat examination or 30 degrees, 40 degrees sit up. In examination in children, if they can cooperate to do that, we can ask them to do that. If not, try to examine the children where they are comfortable, especially young children. Because children, if they not cooperate, you won't get anything. So it's more, more important rather than to get uh, to do the position, uh, sitting position or uh, whatsoever according to what the standard practice is to get the children to be comfortable. And then they will, they will more cooperative to you. Eh? And then when they are start to be fretful, not much information you can get from the children. Eh? So you know a few things about inspection of the chest, eh? symmetry of the chest, shape of the chest, eh? any bulging, look at the shoulder, look for the tracker position, and inspect for the any scars, eh? skin eruption, engorged vein. Eh? 
hydrogen sulfide very important eh? you know hydrogen sulfide is you operating on hydrogen sulfide eh is like a linear depression eh? it's, it's just not linear it's a depressions at the chest eh? lateral side of the chest where there's insertion of the diaphragm muscle eh? of at the chest eh? it show you chronic respiratory distress eh? and then Okay, this, uh, you, uh, at the back, well, you, have, you need also to inspect to look at striker, thoracic, the upper lumbar, look for kyphosis, scoliosis, and inspect for the sky. Eh? And then you see this, uh, some different shape of normal chest, funnel type chest, pigeon chest, and well chest. Eh? And Hudson Sakai is the patient here. Eh? And do I have here that okay, I found out for you. That, eh? The patient some somewhere here. This is Hudson Sakai. The patient here. This this one is a bit more than Hudson Sakai. Usually, in asthma patient you can look, see the see the patient here. Hudson Sakai. Where is the depression of the insertion of the different muscle to the rib? Eh? Because it tell you that the the, the over usage of the different muscle. Eh? And then this is the the what you the chest shape but the chest wall uh, the chest wall usually we def abnormality we define as pectus carinatum and pectus excavatum eh? pectus carinatum is where it is uh, even if got, sometimes people say chest wall pigeon shape eh? but yeah, it is uh, not just pigeon shape it is a shape of the where it is uh, the the Increase markedly increase in AP diameter, and then the the chest the ascum as the pectus excavatum where it is totally depression of the knee, like this one, eh? and this one uh, like the uh, pectus. But this is only funnel shape only eh? here, can be still normal here, but, but in in pectus excavatum is totally depression of the chest wall here. Eh? Not only the uh, the, uh, the sternum here, eh? so very important. Doesn't matter is this one if you can observe it's okay. For the shape, chest, pigeon, curl, or whatever, say, but very important of this one ability to tell us that the inspectors carinatum or pectus excavatum, eh? just wall, eh? and then when you start to examine. Eh? Does it mean you start to uh, palpation? You look for tracker shift. Eh? If there any uh, to shift it of the uh, trachea by putting a finger, eh? index finger in position between the trachea at the at the border of the trachea eh? muscle, the trachea and the sternal uh, the sternal mastoc muscle, eh? and then trachea tux. Eh? Where you look, where this a uh, post posterior movement of the trachea, eh? and then after that you try to examine the lymph nodes at the same time, eh? You examine the uh, neck. Eh? So when you examine the chest wall, when you start to palpate chest wall, you try to imagine eh, the up you you try to divide the chest upper lung, upper lung, middle lung. And lower lung zone, eh? but first two sternal muscle, first two ribs is upper, two to four, uh, three to four is middle, four to six is lower, eh? because that's where you are going to mainly touch and escort your patient upper. But at the same time, behind at your back, eh? you know which loop you examine. Eh? The technique wise is according to the zone, but when you put your stethoscope, you can figure out what loop is you examine. Eh? And then it started by, as usual, you do the chest expansion. Eh? And then, you know, chest expansion, eh? you have to put properly. The anchor is here, and the, 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 the one you observe is here. Eh? And they ask the patient to inspire deeply. And you must remember this is, can be done with, if the patient are cooperative. Eh? If the patient not cooperative, 
that two or three years or so, don't waste your time on this. But you have to know the technique. Yeah? And in patient which is bigger children, which cooperative, you can do that. This, yeah? So when you put your name, you put your upper look, middle look, eh? upper zone, middle zone, and lower zone. Eh? You anchor here, upper zone, middle zone, lower zone, and then you ask the patient to inspire properly and to see the expansion. Okay, what is the, the expand to see normal, not normal? In children, difficult because one, uh, two, four years old, 10 years old, 16 years old are different eh? and are adult. So roughly when you look, ask them to inspire, you can figure out. Eh? And then you know where the heart location is eh? because you, you need also examine the heart Eh, location, uh, where is it the apex bit? Because the apex bit tell you the death, the mediastinal movement or not movement. And then you you do the percussion. Hmm? When then you did the percussion, the important the percussion is the technique. Yeah? Technique of percussion, very important. Eh? Here you have the movement is at the wrist. Hmm? And then the in the middle finger, the index finger must hit 90 degrees eh? at the middle finger of the left hand. Eh? 90 degrees. And this must be firmly put on the top of the surface. Eh? And then only you can listen the sound. Important is that you must know what the normal sound in the chest, which is resonance. And then you only then you can appreciate the abnormal sound, which is hyperresonant or dull. Hmm? So percussion must be proper. Eh? So you when you percuss your patients, eh, you must know the resonance, where the, 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 the liver dullness, and then the cardiac dullness. Eh? Dullness. So when you percuss your patient, usually when you percuss, you started up compare. If bigger children, you can percuss the, uh, you can ketuk dulu the the the, the bone here, the. <coughs> but however, it's, if you not not adult, you need to do that, yeah, because to to know the upper lobe. But in children, it's not easy. Sometimes the neck is small. This is got a small neck, and then you what you what you must do is that you have to percuss the chest. You have to compare first the left and right upper zone, left and right mid zone, left and right lower zone. After that, you have to percuss downwards eh, for every space eh, until you leave, you know where is the level dullness eh, here. Eh, and then, and or you percuss at here, and here you feel some dullness with cardiac dullness. Eh, you must recognize this eh, the cardiac dullness. It's not as dull as the liver, but still dull compared to other place and this is normal the cardiac donors it went down until here you feel then you can sound we uh, feel the tympanic tympanic sound eh? tympanic immediate because of the uh what to air in the in the bowel in the stomach yeah here the strip air in the stomach you feel the tympanic then you only know this then you know that the the your percussion goes as normal but you have to have, you must know the normal first. That's all my advice. No point you, you if you don't know the normal, no way you will know the abnormal. Eh? So in bigger children, you can percuss at the lateral side. In smaller children, don't waste your time. And they, that, then they're not that cooperative. Just a bigger children, eh? uh, so leader, 12, 13, 14 years old, they're not cooperative. Eh? Then you percuss at the back. When you percuss at the back, eh, in children, in adult, yes, you percuss the space between the clavicle, uh, the scapula, and the spine. Because if not, you will percuss the bone, you don't know what you percuss, it's going to be dull. But in children, small children, forget about it, you just percuss at the space here because difficult to get the space because the small. The, with your big hand, you won't able to get space in between here. So when you percuss, you just percuss still 
compare left to right first and then you focus downward eh? this is the percussion eh? okay eh? you remember the lever eh? the lever you must know where the the lever is at this usually at hmm? just below the here eh? Eh? children eh? I can't remember the seats eh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 6, 2, 6, 7, 8 in the code, 6, 7, 8, 8 in the coastal space eh? here. Eh? Because if you don't feel that, you see the chest means his upper inflated. Eh? And the liver, normal liver position, remember, eh? one to two finger below the rib cage, one finger breath, uh, at the bigger, uh, at the less than one year, sometimes you go two finger breath. One year and above, you can have one finger breath. Eh? And one year, two months, and you usually two months, you are usually not palpable anymore. Eh? Two years, two years, you are not palpable below the costal margin anymore. Eh? So the dullness where you listen, eh? uh, it, uh, you can you see the sound. Okay, so you see when you see the liver. Eh? So it's all resonance here. Eh? So you should leave one, two, three, four, five, six. Sometimes here, eh? you leave a six. Eh? Then you switch six. So it's six. You can see the liver dullness already. Eh? One, two, three. To the inspire three, can be six here. Eh? The liver dullness. Eh? So when you, this will be percussion. When you percuss, eh? so this will be dark, about the resonance, liver dullness. Eh? And then some cardiac dullness, eh? it's not so much remember that it's here around here. Sometimes if you go down here, you will miss it. Here will be the cardiac dullness. It's a tympanic, tympanic eh? And the posterior, you can see mainly is a eh? resonance. Eh? So resonance, eh? hyper resonance, tympanic, dull, eh? and flat. Eh? So the importance, the abnormal will be dull and hyper resonance. Eh? Okay, but you remember this. Eh? You you have to remember then um, if you're good in percussion by right every solid surface or air surface when you percuss you can you can appreciate the difference. Eh? Then after that you go your vocal resonance. Eh? Okay, vocal primitors. Vocal primitors is same. Eh? You put your uh, hand. Your 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 palm eh, at the ninety degrees at every at the mid low upper zoom mid zoom and lower zoom eh, when you go vocal fermenters eh. but vocal fermenters then you ask patient to say nine 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 okay um, if the patient is cooperative you do if the patient not cooperative no need to do eh. Imagine you asking nine years old boy, uh, a three years old boy to say nine nine nine, and the boy will stare at you, and the, and the parent will stare at you also. Eh? <coughs> so you have to decide to 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 use it or not to use it. Eh? Or vocal three meters. Eh? So that's why I don't emphasize so much. Eh? But you need to know in adult you do you did it, but in children you may do it, or many at most of the time probably you don't do it. But when we ask you, you know how to do it, and you know what is the abnormal, what is normal, when it's increased, where it decreases a worker, few meters. Eh? You know, eh? when we ask you, you know. Yeah. Though you unable to do it in children, eh? then you go for your percussion. Eh? You do your auscultation. Okay, when you do, you did the auscultation, eh, you use your diaphragm. No, use the diaphragm, eh, auscultation. You still divide auscultation. Eh? Okay. You still divide your auscultation, eh? upper zone, mid zone, and lower zone. Eh? 
When you ascult it, initially you cut it left and upper zone, and then mid zone and lower zone. But also in auscultation, you must know the normal sound. What is the normal sound? Eh? In children, lot is a bronchial vesicular sound. Eh? In children, eh? and like in adult, adult is more a vesicular and bronchial breath sound. Eh? Bronchial breath sound in adult. But in children, bronchial vesicular, eh? bronchial vesicular in children. So bronchial vesicular sound is the because of the the bronchial vesicular bronchial and vesicles and bronchial at the place when you are sculpted. Eh? And because the chest wall of children is small, so the bronchial and vesicular is a lot of overlapping. But vesicular sound is mainly when you when you ascultate the vesicles only, and lung parenchyma. And the bronchial breath sound when you ascultate what you listen is the air movement in the bronchial. When you ascultate, actually what you listen is the air movement, hmm? air movement, bronchial, vesicular, vesicular. You listen air movement. Eh? That's why you you the but because you want to know in the place you ascultate there is an air movement. Okay? So if you want to know the air movement good in in a way, if the air movement is good in the alveoli, you heard the vascular breath sound. If the air movement is good in bronchial, you heard the bronchial breath sound. So what happened in consolidation when the parenchyma of the lung is solid? Okay? What you hear is only the bronchial breath sound because the bronchial is not obstructed, but the parenchyma, there is no air movement. So what you listen is a bronchial breath sound. Eh? That's what you mean by that. And if you practice on yourself at the trachea here, where you heard the bronchial, it's a bronchial breath sound. In bronchial breath sound, the inspiratory, the expiratory is nearly the same, but there's a gap in between where the air stops. Yeah, stop for a while. In bronchial vascular breath sound, what you listen is that yeah, the inspiration, yeah, expression, expression, there is a prolonged expression because, because it's an active process. Yeah, and the expression is short because it's a passive process, but there's no gap. Mm? And the sound is more softer. This harsh, yeah? This sound, yeah? No gap, eh? but the inspiration is prolonged. Eh? But in bronchial vascular breath sound, this combination because of both, eh? you can see the equal eh? inspired the expiratory, and there is no gap. Eh? You hear it somewhere here in the adult. In children, you can hear it almost everywhere eh? Eh? because of the small chest. Eh? Basically, in children, even being small children, in bigger children, it's like adult. Yeah, if you took ascartic in, in unit, mostly bronchial vascular breath sound. Eh? So you must know where is it the sound. So the most in, when you ascartic the anterior, you ascartic actual chest, left and right, left and right, second, the mid zone, upper zone, mid zone, lower zone. Whereas when you ascartic the posterior, still the same mid zone, upper zone, upper zone, mid zone, and eh? lower zone. Here, eh? Eh? And then if the patient cooperative, eh? you can ask the patient, the adult, open the mouth a little bit and breathe eh? deeply. Eh? Eh? You ask the patient cooperative. If not cooperative, then you may do whatever you can do. In which I can assure you, 60-70% children not that cooperative or understand what you're asking them to do. Eh? So you have to learn to listen when, when with the opportunity, whatever you have. Eh? That is the opportunities, opportunistic skill that you have to have. Eh? Mm. So you have to know the eh? escaltation eh? and then you know the vascular breast sound, bronchial vascular breast sound. Eh? You have to know that eh? bronchial breast sound. And then what is the absence or diminished breath sound? Eh? And then this is the anatomy, the bit anatomy when you examine the patient. Eh? And then after you that you can ask, you can do the uh, uh, vocal resonance nine nine nine. You ask it 
also the upper mid lower zoom and as i said to you if the patient is cooperative many information you can get if patient not cooperative don't you waste time on that eh? so if you think about the abnormal breath sound eh? additional sound eh? so when you ask it eh? you look for air entry after that yeah you look for the additional sounds eh? like if you heard any wrong cry or not eh? wrong cry and then you heard for any craps very important craps eh? craps can be fine and eh? cause capitation eh? heard for the craps during the inspiratory or expiratory eh? American use rails, eh? but we use craps, eh? Malaysian. Eh? And then if you can hear, it's a wrong kind. Eh? But if you can listen at the mouth, it's a wheezing. Eh? So how to use properly. Eh? Then look for the recession. Eh? You heard for the stridor. Because sometimes you ask it, you can listen for the stridor, inspiratory or expiratory, for the wheeze, eh? and then grunting. Hmm? And as you see, it's muscle, you can observe. And then cracks when you are sculpted. Cracks also can be a fine cracks or cause capitation. Eh? And then wrong kai also when you listen is a, is it the inspiratory wrong kai or expiratory wrong kai. Eh? And then if you look for the voice, uh, you use vocal filmmakers or vocal uh, so local resonance, it can be a, uh, it's increased, it's, it's very loud, increased bronchophony, it means that it, it shows that it's the consolidation in there, or it can be sometimes, it just can be very near to your nose, ears, eh? something whisper to your ears, nine, nine though, it seems that it tells you that it's very solid lung, lung is very consolidated. Eh? But if you don't listen, decrease in vocal resonance, and it means that there is a fluid there because you know uh, compare fluid and fluid doesn't uh, 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 the, the 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 sound doesn't converse very well to the fluid eh? okay we don't go in the question yet so a little bit about breathings, eh? patterns. Eh? You have to know the, the tachypnea, the bradynea, the apnea, hypopnea. You, when you read somewhere, they mention the hypopnea. It's just when patient, you can see, slowly patient, uh, but, uh, in, uh, patient in deputy acidosis or, you know, uh, 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 the breathing, they have it's just like tachypnea, but faster, you go, they, they, they faster as tachypnea and deep as yeah, deeper is deep, right? Just only fast, but also deeper, eh? Chain stop, where the hysteria is usually the hypopnea, eh? in hysteria. So, if you have hysteria, they don't eh? Chain stop breathing, hmm? where is a fast, they got breathing with hyper, tachypnea. Then sometimes stop or ready to keep near again, eh? Very fast, eh? So there is a uh, usually chance to viral bio ni tak payah lah. Chance stop in completely banyak you know chance stops, eh? Tell you the brainstem injury, cosmos, eh? Usually in in the acidotic case, you have to know this, eh? This one tak payah, this one tak payah. We just you baca buku pun tak payah, tak payah tengok, eh? Tak payah hit, tak payah ingat pun tak apa. This one you have to know, this one you have to know, apnea body, this one you have to know, the apnea is normal breathing, yeah? Okay, what you're finding, eh? it's in normal condition, let's say bronchopneumonia, eh? chef woman reduced on the affected side, eh? can be rapid in shallow breathing, tachypnea, and then you when your percussion, dull, Increase vocal filmmakers. We are scattered, decrease air entry with a lot of capitation, eh? capitations because of capitation, a eh? lot of capitation. Asthma, reduce what you can air to the chef, but inflated. 
Chief Human usually takip ni ay di Houston Circus in Asma. Hmm? And then we ascultate hyper percussion, hyper resonance. We ascultate videos and entry with bees. Eh? Asma. Eh? Example. Ini bronchiolitis is mainly in adult. Eh? You can see so, in children acute bronchiolitis. Eh? Bronchitis in bigger children. Eh? Labor breathing, recessions, hyper resonance on the ascultation and fine crackers. Eh? And, and, and bronchi. Eh? When you ascultate. Eh? So, if what interpretation is very important when you examine, you must know the interpretation. Eh? No point you examine, you don't know what the interpretation eh? is. In plural effusion, eh, they reduce vocal perimeters, reduce chest expression, stony dullness of percussion, reduce air entry, no added sound, and reduce vocal. Also known, eh? In consolidation, they increase the uh, vocal perimeters, reduce expansion, dull of percussion, the bronchial breathing. Eh? If you're lucky, the consolidation quite a lot, especially in the uh, uh, in in the lobar pneumonia, you can find the bronchial breathings can have cause capitation, increase vocal resonance, and sometimes you can when you vocal resonance, you can something uh, whispering at your ears when the patient shouldn't say nine 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 whispering petrolokai. Eh? Pneumothorax, trachea can be deteriorated. We just try out the vocal primitives, hyper resonant, we just entry, we just vocal resonant. Eh? And then collapse of the lung, deleted the trachea. This one diluted against the demotorate. Eh? Uh, out of it, this one it, uh, collapse, deleted into the pathology. Eh? This out of the pathology. Eh? If the motorex on the right side, deleted lung on the goes, lung goes to the left side. But collapse is different. If the collapse on the right side, the trachea directed to the left side. Can reduce vocal parameters, dull and percussion, reduce air, entry and computation. Eh? This is the main finding. Eh? Okay, anything you want to ask? Hmm? Anything? Uh, that's all. Hmm. But if the kit is not cooperative, so hmm. Is there any tips from you on how to manage in this kind of situation? The key not properties, then that's where your you you need to your use your creativity. Hmm? You need creativity to you. The most important is you know you you, you try to get as much information as possible. Eh? Okay. Uh, the most important is you must know your technique and then you must know your sequence right. You know it. But when you have, when if you have the children who are cooperative, usually bigger children, then you can use the techniques and the sequence properly. But in uncooperative children, then you become opportunistic. Yeah, you depend, but you know your technique, you know your sequence. But it's acceptable sometimes you ask it first when the child not crying. It's okay. You can see you what you or you ask it first, and then you try, you do the rest when you had the opportunity. But it's acceptable. Eh? So, as when you want to do the what do, uh, you want to do uh, uh, chest expansion, when a child is just an infant, small children, when you hold your hand so big, eh, you, cannot, you cannot even find the place where to anchor your, 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 your arm, your, your, your palm, how to do, how to do it. Eh? So, you have to adjust. Eh? That's one thing the challenge about the children. Is that you have to be creative. Every children are different. Eh? Not children, they're not same. Eh? You, the most important for you is to get as much information as possible when you examine the children. Creativity will come. Eh? Those who are not flexible, eh? they're going to suffer. Mm? You all must do this way, this way, this way. They're going to suffer. Those who are creative, smart, they will enjoy the examination because. Uh, they know how to get the most information out of the, out the situation. Any other question? Any other question? Uh, you must, the key is the technique to practice. Lah, eh? Usually after this, I, I, I take one children and become a, become a, 
simple not to be simple become an example for you all that I examine to you and show you how to examine the respiratory system in 10 minutes or oh, even less yeah, 10 minutes and less it looks complicated but it's very simple and then after that you can roughly understand how it been done sadly I'm unable to do that yeah let me think if I can I can we can redo video on it I've been chung with doctor ni how we can do video on it eh? if we can do video on it so because you need to see you see lecture is one thing eh? and lecture sometimes a bit difficult to us because we want to give you so many info not only the way the techniques and also the pathology and uh, how to mix it eh? it's, it's skill that not easy eh? because there are techniques and there's a pathology we do we should we teach you all technique first and pathology after that and 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 then anatomy and physiology after that you if you do, do not that is the 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 one way of teaching but many of you are unable to grab it or we try to put anatomy pathology uh, physiology at the same time with the technique and then 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 the, the explanation of the finding is not an easy lecture to give but we need to do that for you to give you to to understand that small thing you do that percussions this is a technique there's interpretation that is a pathology of it so when you do a scaltation or this technique what is the behind what the physiology finding to that physiology what is underground underlying of it why is it uh, uh, you you have to know is alveolar breast sound bronchial alveolar breast sound you know so we try to i try to integrate all this in one setting yeah if i can give different setting different setting but many of the time you all need your brain you all cannot mix it hmm? connect it hmm? so you look the, the lecture is i try to Meets everything in one setting. So you have to be more imaginative. Lah, eh? And then furthermore, in children, I try to give you the perspective in children, which is very difficult because the children age is from one year, new need, until the uh, in until the 15 years old, there are difference in their anatomy, their pathology and also difference in some of their physiology and their respond to the uh, the respond to the abnormality so i don't know if successful or not hmm, for a young brain like you all but i just want to make you to to show to you all things as not what is it eh? any question But at the end of the day, to practice lah. Huh? Sadly, I'm unable to show to you how to do the technique proper. But any questions? You have a question tak? Uh, Datuk. Hmm. This is regarding our next session on seminar Monday. Huh? You are set, you lah. Uh, Nanti I'll be you lah. Okay. Okay. And I'm free or not free. Hmm? Okay. You know, I feel we usually will start at 12 o'clock as usual. Uh, yeah. But you just was set the topic, everything soon we go through Hindi. Okay. Okay, any question? Is it like this? Uh, you will set me when the time was seminar. Yeah. Uh, if I don't answer anything, it means that that's that time is valid hmm? if you if i were if i need to change the time i will tell you all okay hmm? but you yeah. need to tell me the time because i don't use the timetable anymore because i has i got tired so many timetable i keep changing inside my book sometimes i got confused and when i put in the diary i keep changing in the diary i keep confused so eh? So at the end of the day, I decided that I I waited for you all to WhatsApp me to tell me when the time is. I'm going to use that the time. Eh? 
So when you accept me, if I if I didn't see anything, so that's the time really. But if in case I have something meeting, ke, I have to do around or to see patient, then I will tell you all. Okay. The good thing about this this e learning computer learning is that we can do it at any time, even on Saturday Sunday. Hmm? I like before, but the bad thing is that I don't think you have you can you don't you get more teaching uh, learning process. There's a thing that you have to teach you face to face, like physical examination. And fifty percent is face to face teaching. You only get fifty percent only what you should got you should get. Another fifty percent is in in a face to face learning. But seminar probably seventy ninety percent you can have by computer using Zoom. Right? But clinical teaching like beside teaching everything sixty percent only fifty percent only is from from this kind of learning. You have still under fifty percent from proper eh, proper face to face learning but we have to make do whatever we have lah that's all for time being until we can sort up our this epidemic so like this one you have to practice lah you got any your children anybody got your brother and sister small brother and sister go and practice you have to adapt hmm? practice you have to adapt learn the trust any other question hmm? Ada. Tadi no. we stop here lah. So if if nothing, please WhatsApp me about the timetable, the private whatever I going to teach you all. I just say to you, I don't use any more the jadual. I got headache with the jadual. So once we follow the things that you you all send to me, then we. So if there is a teaching on Friday on Monday. Yeah, we the teaching is usually I, I did it at twelve o'clock because I like to the first few hours too. I, I would like to do round and see patient, and then if nothing change, it will be twelve o'clock. But if there is something change, I will tell you all. Okay. Okay, that. Okay. Okay, huh? Okay, no question. I think you all know everything already. Okay. Okay, we'll stop here. Eh? Semua dah tahu kan? No question means you know everything. Okay, that's my conclusion. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, my hello. 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 Sabah, Pak I, Sabah. Eh, aku, aku ada nombor doktor. Ada, ada. Nanti aku share. Okay, okay. Aku pun dalam, dalam, dalam timetable tu pun ada juga sebenarnya nombor doktor. Tak ada lah. Ada dalam timetable tu. Last page. Serius. Okay. Please, nombor doktor. Tak, nombor. ada, ada nombor. Aku check yang table ada ada number semua doktor tapi uh, Datuk tak ada. Aku termis kot. Okey lah, okey lah. Ni ha, ada ni. Ha, ada, baik. Okey. Okey, okey.